Hello, boys and girls. Well mostly girls. I see one boy. That doesn't matter, does it? Well, time's a wasting. I'm sure you're wondering why I've been invited by Professor Weiner to speak with you today. Sorry I'm late Mr. Shakespeare. Had to run to the store. By the way your doctor called and said you can finally sit down. And he said to be careful when you use a pencil. Yeah yeah. Professor Weiner asked me to talk to you about preparing to write. And he came to the right source. I'm an expert in preparing to write. Now as you can see I have just sat down. Why did I do that you ask? Well, you have to sit down when you write. Now that I can sit down I can prepare to write. The custom of sitting when preparing to write comes from way back in the Triassic era. Prior to that, man had no time to write. He was too busy running from woolly mammoths. Hello. No, that wasn't me pole dancing last night. You have me mistaken for my twin brother. Now where was I? Oh yes. Early man tried to write when he was constantly running. Didn't work. Did you ever try to write when you're running? Doesn't work. The first man to discover the need to sit when writing was Lord Howard Hertz. He was a knight. In the old days, writers could be found in this room. Does anyone in the audience know what you call this room? That's all right, I've got all day. Did someone say men's room? Obviously that's not correct. I'm just pretending I didn't see that chair move. I'm holding in my hands a dictionary. When you want to make sure you're using the right words you need a dictionary. It'll give you the definition thousands of words. So for example if you wanted to know what the word cross-dresser meant you could find it in this book. A horse, a horse, my thesaurus for a horse. Bartlett's book of quotations will spice your writing with famous sayings such as the one I used from Richard III. Thank you. Thank you. And, now I'd like to sing the Toreador song from Carmen. <laughs> Ungrateful louts. Hello Jimmy. What are you reading? A thesaurus Mr. Shakespeare. I'm going to have nightmares. Jimmy, a thesaurus is not a scary book. It's a reference book. It helps you find synonyms and antonyms. I hate antonyms. That's why I have to see a shrink every week. Wow, this book really is scary. That was pretty traumatic. I never knew a thesaurus could be so scary. I need a drink, I just posted a warning on Facebook. Never use a thesaurus. You can see me sitting at a computer. A computer connected to the internet is crucial to today's writer. There are lots of cool games. News about Amanda Bynes and Justin Bieber, Black 7 under the Red 8, and, oh, you're there. The internet allows you to make sure the claims you're making in your stories are supported by facts and figures. Excuse me a moment, class, just signing the paychecks? Here you are Joan. Thank you Mr. Shakespeare. Oh by the way, there was a story on TV last night about you pole dancing at the pink slip. Boy, do I need this. This is my friend Johnny Gutenberg. What have you got the Johnny? It sure doesn't look like a cow. It's the world's first printer Mr. Shakespeare. I know this is a rhetorical question Johnny, but why is having a printer so important? It puts a really good crease on my trousers, and my shirts look like they just came back from the cleaners. Feel the shirt, will you? That's not bad Johnny old boy but you're telling me this printer did that? It didn't though say print a Bible. Bible? That's all this world needs, another Bible. I invented my printer to iron my clothes. A little vodka will calm my nerves. You see this stack of papers. You can't have a stack of papers without a printer. You need paper to prove to people that you're actually writing stuff. And of course you need a phone, to call people for interviews, ask questions, and deny you a pole dancing the night before. Now, stop calling this number. I don't pole dance. Some people have their little idiosyncrasies. I for example love to drink coffee to get in the writing mood. 
Some people may meditate, others exercise. I don't know why you have all these boxes, Mr. Shakespeare. You're not married, and I know you have no friends. Serves you right for asking nosy questions. Leave them here, thank you. Look at me, Mr. Teddy Weddy. I'm writing. I'm writing. That's three cheers for me.